Here are some good advice for new instructors. Also some good advice for old instructors. And some good advice for those who really want to excel in their martial arts training and maybe even have a dream, a hope, or a desire of in the future being an instructor. One, understand that your life will always have an effect on your training. And your training will also have an effect on your life. This means when things are going well in your life, you may come into training with a different or a higher energy, more enthusiasm. And when things are going badly, you may come into training with a lot less spirit and all of this is normal the difference is this when you come into training when you take off your shoes you leave them at the entrance and when you bow you leave the outside world outside and you step into your consistent training zone. Your place of empowerment, your place of discovery, your place of facing challenges, making yourself stronger physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Your place of finding some peace some stability maybe some oneness within yourself as you go forward into your trainings the days will turn into weeks the weeks will turn into months months will turn into years and within all this time there will be many ups and many downs there will be hot days cold days hard days easy days exciting days boring days This is all part of the journey. But as you continue on this journey, there are certain things you should always know. This journey involves a lot of risks. It's not just hard work. It's not just dedication. It's not just being consistent. Yes, it's all of that. But it's also taking risks. When you really think about it, great love and great achievements always involve great risk. And that is part of the journey. And on this journey, there are times you will feel like a winner, and there are times you may feel like a loser, and there are times you may just feel like you're floating in space in limbo. Winning, losing, 
In truth, it's a matter of how you view it. But if you think there are times that you are losing, or you have lost, if you don't lose the lesson, you are still winning. Remember the three R's. You'll be okay. That is respect. Respect for yourself. Self-respect. I cannot even begin to tell you how important that is and how that alone changes everything. The second R is respect again respect for others if you have high self respect and respect for others it is very difficult to ever go wrong it's difficult to find enemies to have interpersonal challenges Because even if people don't like you, if you have self-respect and respect others, they will respect you. And the third R is responsibility. Always take responsibilities for your actions. Always know that you are responsible for how you respond to things. And how you respond to things affects how the world responds to you. When you take complete and total responsibility for your actions, And for everything that happens in your life, you remain the captain of your ship. You don't give the power to anyone else. If you get punched in the face and you say, that person did it to me, you you disempower yourself and you give them all the power. When you get punched in the face and you tell yourself, I made that happen. That was my mistake. I need to improve in this area. Now, you've owned your power. Now, you've earned your power and also more self-respect. Remember, we are all human, and as human beings, we all make mistakes. When you realize you've made a mistake though, take immediate steps to correct them. Take immediate action. If you stepped on someone's toes, clean that up, apologize, and then do something extra for that person. If you've offended someone, which we all do, usually not on purpose, but sometimes not even knowing it. But once we find this out, We should not only apologize, but be much bigger. Go beyond the words and step into actions. Give them a special gift. Show them that you are truly sorry. And do your best to always leave them in a better place 
in a better state than when you found them.